Hi there, this is Tina Hughes of howtopaintonsilk.com and today I'm chatting with Lynn Taylor, silk artist in Sydney and uh, I'd just like to say hello Lynn and welcome. Oh, hi Tina, good to see you again. Now what we're actually doing today is we're chatting over Skype so we can see each other but because this is an audio recording there are no pictures but um, I'll see what I can do to get some pictures on the page when I publish this on my website. So, Lynn, how long have you been painting on silk? Oh, gosh. How long since the workshop that you ran where I learned how to paint on silk? Six, seven years? Somewhere like that, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so Lynn was actually one of my students and has been painting on silk on and off ever since because she makes beautiful clothing. And what's your website name, Lynn? LynnTaylorDesigns.com That's correct. All right, so Lynn, uh, when you paint on silk, what's your preferred silk? Which one do you like to use the most? Oh, I love the silk chiffon. Yeah. Uh, when, I, when I make a garment, I just love the way the chiffon is very soft and floaty. Um, the other silks, oh, and it, it breathes, it seems to breathe. Some silk can get very hot. And silk chiffon, it's easy to work with. The dye loves it. Um, and wonderful. surprisingly, it's easy to sew. Many people don't even try it because they think it would be too hard, but it's been my preferred silk for years as well. It's, and it is, it's very easy to sew. It is, yes. I used to be afraid of silk, painting on silk, until I met you and did the workshop. And uh, now I'm an, a silk-obsessed person. <laughs> yes, you are. And as I'm looking at the Skype window, I can see all kinds of gorgeous silk creations hanging on the cupboard behind you. Yes, they look ready wonderful. For my next exhibition. <laughs> Very good. So tell us, when's your next exhibition? It's going to be in July. Okay, July South 2014, and where will that be? It's going to be at the Thornley Community Centre at Thornley. I've I belong to a craft group, um, and they they do everything. We've got uh, textile people like myself, maybe, maybe only three of those. We have jewellers, leather workers, paper makers, glass, jewellery makers, everything. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, they have a couple of exhibitions every, every year, mid-year and at Christmas. This year we're having three. Woo! So I thought I'd better start getting organised early. <laughs> yeah, like now. <laughs> it's January, time to get started. <laughs> well, July for the first one sounds yeah. like a long way away, but when you think of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, six months, that's only 24 weeks. It'll go fast. And It'll it go does. very fast. So I've been caught before, but not this year. Okay, so what are your uh, favourite colours to work with with the silk dye? Purples and pinks, the turquoise, I guess, is my favourite of all colours with the silks. I mm -hmm. just love the turquoise. Fuchsia, love the fuchsia. Um, black, of course, everything I make is black and something else. Yeah, they're, they're my, oh, the purple, my yep. three favourite colours. Yep, excellent. Yeah. Very good. Okay, Lynn, well, I'd like to say thank you very much for being on my podcast today and to all the listeners i'd like to say hope you enjoy this stay tuned i'll be making more of these podcasts very soon cheerio for now bye 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 everyone